Here it is. Uh-huh. OK. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will give you one hint, and that is they <coughs> succeeded each other. They succeeded each other. OK, we'll start with uh, Marsha and Steve. You've got one minute. Ready and go. Oh, um, gee, are you guys performers? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Movies? Yes. Yes. Did, does this have something to do with your relationship? No. You're not related to the other The performing actors, has nothing? Yes. Yeah, yes. sure yes. has something to do with their relationship. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, it does. Did you share a role? Not ever. Yes. You did. Uh, at different times? Yes. In the same series? Yes. No series. <laughs> no series. Speak up. Was it a television <laughs> show? <laughs> no. The question is, what is no, it? No, no series. It was not a television show. You're not show. related to an, an other, other actors, are you? No. You know, no. no. I have a relation that's an actor. No, that's not relevant. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> OK. Were you Tarzan? <laughs> hey, that's it. Ah, he knows the money. Not a dime, guys. <laughs> What's that? Well, Catherine, Catherine wants to prove that she had it too. She wrote on her little pad, Tarzan. Okay, you, that's exactly it. We don't look anything like it. These three gentlemen all played Tarzan. I, I thought certainly it would be. Where? Introduce yourselves, guys. Uh, my name is Jock Mahoney. Oh. This is the this is the famous Jock Mahoney. Great stunt man. My so, name is Gordon Scott, and I uh, did it for uh, seven years. Gordon Scott and? And I'm, uh, I'm Denny Miller, fraternity brother of Burt Conn. That's right. We, we went to school together. Now, listen, guys, tell us some experiences you had while shooting your seven Tarzan movies. Oh, well, I, we, uh, we shot the last two in Africa, and uh, Jeff was with me on one. He played the heavy in one. And uh, I had several episodes with uh, an 18-foot bow constrictor wrapped around my body and so forth. Well, and that's, it, it's, that is how I learned to yell, because... <laughs> and he does it very, <laughs> he does it very well, well, well too. Oh, okay. You should get him to do the, yell. do the yell. Yeah, he does the, the yell. We're going to do that in a minute. Denny, that's how, the only time I ever yelled at it. How were you discovered? I, I was under contract to MGM, but I, I'm, I'm the only devout coward to play the role. Yes. <laughs> so I don't have you much... Uh, uh, no, they wouldn't even let me have a real knife. I had a rubber knife. <laughs> we have pictures of you guys. Let's let's show the pictures, shall we? Here you are. Well, you have to no, be left to you. Oh this my God! Jock. I don't know who. Th there's. Oh, there. that's this, this is you. Was, was Gordon Miller the first? Yes, Johnny Weissmiller. No, no, he no, wasn't. He wasn't no, Elmo Lincoln. Elmo Lincoln. Oh, in the silent days. Yes. 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 The most. yes, he did. There you are. Gordon, yeah. why don't you give us yeah. your yell, sir? We need to hear that. I, I really can't uh, do please. it, do, do you can? Gordon. Yeah, you I can do it. You're no. very good at it. I can do it. Let, Let me can. explain. What do you I am calling you. Oh, Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. guys, come on and say hello to the panel. Thank you for being with us. Tarzan. <laughs> we'll be back with more Third Degree in a minute. <laughs> We're out of time. Thanks for being with us on Third Degree. We'll see you next time right here. Bye. Wait, bye, kids. Say bye. Bye-bye. As a thank you for playing our game, Gordon, Denny, and Jock, we'd like you to have Finris, his or hers, nugget-style gold gold watches. Black dial with six genuine diamonds. Sweet second-hand precision quartz movement furnished by Finris. Some of our relationships are staying at Best Western, the world's largest lodging chain with over 3,300. Sixties television series. For many, it was the experience of a lifetime, one that abounds with some unusual war stories. At 62, Gordon Scott still retains the stature of the man he portrayed in five films, and he had his share of misadventures along the way. He once required 32 stitches to close a wound a lion opened, but his favorite story involves a rather large boa constrictor that got a bit out of hand. It got me. It was through my crotch and around my waist and everything, and it started cinching up. And I'm telling you, they had four guys to pull that damn thing off of me. I was talking soprano for about a week. And Chris Lucy says well, about she's something to yell about. played Tarzan in the past, came by to check out the new Tarzan on the block. And our lifestyle reporter, Dorothy Lucy, was there.
what do you get when you put four Tarzans on one set? A Tarzan quartet. Today in Burbank, it was a question of me Tarzan, you Tarzan, who Tarzan? The answer is all of the above. You're looking at 34 years of the eight man. 17 men have played Tarzan. Joe Lara will be number 18. I really do consider it uh, an honor to play the role. A remake of the Monkey Man movie brought on this reunion. Jacques Mahoney, Denny Miller, and Gordon Scott came by the set to check out the new Jane. Jane! This is every girl's dream come true. <laughs> Not all Janes like being manhandled by Tarzans. You know, Tarzan has a history of fighting with a lot of his co-stars. First time I got bitten by a chimp. And Sheena bit you? Yeah, yeah, right on the hand. Punched him in the nose, and then he went up in the rafters. And <laughs> in the old movies, Tarzan was a tough guy. He used to ride around on rhinos and giraffes. In this new movie, times and modes of transportation have changed. Jane's a cab driver, and Tarzan does most of his swinging, not in the jungle, but in Manhattan. He's got some serious culture shock at first, and uh, the only thing that really keeps him there is his motivation to find Cheetah. Cheetah has been chipnapped, so Tarzan is forced to go to the big city and wear normal clothes. But never fear, the new Tarzan will appear in the traditional skimpy costume. Were you a sexy Tarzan? <laughs> Is that a tough question? <laughs> I don't know. It would be like me asking you on camera, how, just how sexy are you? I'm incredibly sexy. Well, <laughs> Can you, you tell? You, you, got, you got me beat. He couldn't tell. Can you guys tell? Oh, forget it. I don't want to know. The new Tarzan is a CBS made-for-TV movie, and they're calling it not an action-adventure, but a humor-adventure movie, so it's going to be funny. He was the strong, silent type. <laughs> Very silent on my question. We'll be right back in just a moment. Screen, but the ape man is one of Hollywood's favorite characters, and he is coming back again. And here you see four of the actors who portrayed Tarzan over 34 years of screen, regrettably not Jim or Kevin. <laughs> He's got some serious culture shock at first, and uh, the only thing that really keeps him there is his motivation to find Cheetah. Well, you better find Cheetah after all. The faithful Simeon has been a fixture of the jungle epic since the beginning. As near as we can remember, Cheetah failed to make an appearance in only two of the Tarzan remakes. And those were the Greystock version a couple of years ago, and Bo Derek's version, which featured a lot of Bo and a little bit of monkey business. Bo doesn't cheat on anybody. Up next. And uh, this is another momentous occasion. Well, uh, this is really something. I, I've I never been associated with you know, fabulous an job yourself. She did. I think she'll get an Oscar, get an Oscar for tonight. Oscar. I think you're so well, You're doing a fabulous okay. job <laughs> ahead, too. Nice to see you. Good. Good to see you. Hey, so yeah. Yeah. Good. Gordon Scott. Gordon, how are you? Good to nice. see you. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Nice to have you with us. Oh, yes. It's warm. Hello, how are you? Good. Gordon Scott. Gordon, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome. Nice to have you with us. Oh, yes. It's warm. Hello. A cursed carpet. <laughs> but of course, take your clothes off. What? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> no, indeed, my dear. I've never been saner in my whole life. So it's you. I see that you've become a rug merchant. <laughs> no, Caesar. <laughs> Egypt has sent you this rare gift. 
thank you, my friend. Don't you want to see it? It's truly exceptional. Very well, then. Unroll it. A queen for Caesar. Her date uh, today. Uh, no, uh, she's uh, waiting for you down by the pool. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you, you're 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 the the movie star, are you? Mm hmm. That's right. Bob, this is Gordon Scott, the new Tarzan. Oh, hey, Bob. How <laughs> <I> do you <laughs> do? Thanks. <laughs> you 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 have a uh, a date with the, with Miss Sweden, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm her escort while she's here. We oh. have to have some publicity, pictures taken, oh, and I so see. forth. Oh, that's very interesting. Hmm? Uh, by the way, who are you? I'm Bob Collins, the photographer who's going to take the publicity pictures. Oh, I see. Well, uh, should we get started? Or? Could I speak to you for just one moment alone, please? Sure. Sit right yeah. over here, girls. Would you excuse us, please? Dear Bob, girls, Mr. Girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Now, Gordon. Oh, but Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins, where can I do my bird watching? Oh, yeah. Why don't you try the casino? You can watch the red-vested croupiers fleece the silver-heeled pigeons. <laughs> <sighs> well, Gordon, uh, have you met Miss Sweden? No, I haven't. Oh, well, that explains it. Uh, explains what? Gordon, you see, I'm a photographer. My job is judging beauty, and... Uh, well, in my opinion, in this country, this girl couldn't win the title of Miss La Brea Tar Pits. <laughs> you're, you're kidding. Oh, I certainly wish I were. It really hurts my artistic sense to have to photograph a guy who looks like Tarzan with a gal who looks like uh, Mammy Yoakum. <laughs> and, of course, it, uh, it won't do your career any good either. Is no. she really that bad? Gordon, I can only say this. If these pictures ever get out, even the chimpanzees will stop talking to you. <laughs> Well, how'd she ever win the title of Miss Sweden? Search me. I don't know how they pick them in those European countries, but somebody sure goofed. Well, this doesn't make sense. I think I ought to look at her. Well, suit yourself. She doesn't speak English. I'm telling you, this gal is really nowhere. Miss Germany? Miss England? Are you in there? Are Miss Germany and Miss England here, too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, just a moment. Come in! <laughs> Sergeant Eddie. <laughs> hi, Colonel. Hi, hi. Shake hands with Gordon Scott, the movie star who plays Tarzan. Hi, Ed. How are you? Hi. <laughs> uh, Colonel Collins. Yes. I know I can't date him, but could I just meet those two beauty queens? Oh, you mean uh, Bertha Krauss and, and uh, Pamela Livingstone? Yeah, yeah, Miss Germany and Miss England. Uh huh. Just a moment, excuse me. Uh, Bertha, Pamela, could you come in here for a moment, please? <laughs> now. May I... You all right? Uh, lovely lady, may I present uh, Sergeant Eddie... Eddie, what is your last name, Eddie? Uh, never mind. I got to get back to the tower. The one from Chicago? Yeah. Give her my regard. I will. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have to be getting back to Hollywood, too. Uh, oh, really? Mr. Oh, yes. Uh, goodbye. Yes. Goodbye, So lady. sorry to see you. Go. Found us attractive. Oh, well, I do. Right now, you're my two favorite beauty queens. Hey, 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 let's break it up. I'm going to report you two girls to the Secretary's Union for boss stealing. What's all the trouble in here? Trouble? Margaret, no trouble at all. Everything is just, uh, just perfect. <whistles> Boy, is it perfect. <laughs> well, what's the matter, honey? Couldn't you find your movie star friend? 
Ah, don't you worry. From now on, me, Tars, and you, Jane. Oh, for sure. Mr. <laughs> Golly, I gotta find out what that means. <laughs> it means, don't waste your time. You haven't got a chance with me. <laughs> you, you mean to tell me you've been digging everything I said? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose this means no moonlight boat right now. No. No. Well, I'd love to go. Oh, me too. Then I go too with four chaperones. It's good. It's lousy, but it's best I can do. For sure, Edmund May. of Miss Sweden was played by Ingrid Koo, Pamela Livingstone by Nancy Cope, Bertha Krauss by Kathleen Freeman, Eddie by Jimmy Murphy, and the Air Force Captain by Norm o